Hey, good morning, everybody. Uh, welcome to uh, to the Uplift. My name is uh, Greg Smithwick. I go by Uplift Greg in the uh, in the Minecraft world. It's nice to be with you this morning, uh, this noon. Uh, it's morning some places, I guess. It's very hard for me to keep track because we are kind of worldwide now, aren't we? Uh, that's a thing. I believe Corey will be hopping on to join me here in just a little bit, but uh, I wanted to take some time today to lay out what's going on with the uh, the Uplift, uh, or sorry, with the Chicken Ka land and rail sale within the Uplift world. I'll be getting a lot of private message questions. Uh, Yuri, I see your message there. I'm wondering where I can get permission to do something in the Uplift. I can't help if I can't interact with the game. I understand, but uh, right now it's just landowners and, and project builders in um somebody anybody can give you permission to build on their land so uh, i mean i'm happy to have you build on mine but i'm way out in the middle of nowhere so uh get with you know the people that you know i believe that finney has some land i believe that i'm sure that sue and Ginny and the other ck7 have some land they might give you permission to build on i don't know specifically what projects they might be working towards so uh just uh, ask around let's see if we can get you uh some permissions to do some stuff in the game uh, i know it's fun to be in there uh, and again, it's been very limited so far, and we're going to start broad seeing that broaden out in the next little bit here. So thank you all for joining me this morning. I have a random, a random land, Sir Greg. I am not Sir Greg. I'm just plain old Greg. Uh, that's great, and you will have access to that as soon as humanly possible. Uh, they are beginning to uh, to work on rolling out the the NFTs that'll give you permission to be in the group or in the uh, in the world. Uh, Esther, who is Yuri, is kind of a special case. He's been joining us for our gratitude ceremonies since the server was fairly new and uh, we're trying to accommodate him because he is an old school uh, member of the, of the server. So uh, for those of you that have random land uh, plots, you will be allowed in eventually We're we're not there yet. The first group that will be uh, let in will be those that hold the, the 21 that hold the level three uh, 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 Genesis probe from the random land sale that happened a few weeks back. And uh, then the, uh, the those that hold the uh, the the level three Genesis NFT from Chicken Ka, those will be the first people allowed into the game. That's one of the uh, benefits of having those uh, those high dollar high wax uh, NFTs in your inventory. Uh, so that would that would accelerate the process. Just saying, uh, not sure by how much, not sure exactly when, but soon. Soon is the answer. Soon. soon. You know what? Sorry, I'm wrong, wrong speakers on. Give me a second here. All right. Uh, yeah, did not mean to do that. Meant to do that. Talk to me again. Check one, two. Yeah, check, that's check, much check. better. Thank you. How are you, man? Mm, check. Good. Things are insane. <laughs> um, <laughs> yes. Things are things are nuts. Uh, but like in the best possible way, right? I mean, we're 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 getting stuff done. Just have the Tuttle Huddle. Tuttle. Uh, Chris Tuttle is uh, is our uh, dev manager. Um, Godsend, frankly. Uh, you know, getting all of our uh, uh, ducks in a row to get everything uh, uh, actually out to people, um, and we're we're grinding away. I'm feeling really good about the timeline, and nice. I'm not going to tell you guys what the timeline is yet because I want to make sure that, uh, like, I I'm never going to announce anything again until I know it's actually happening. This is basically right? how, where where I'm at right now because that like uh, so many things change. It just it's just how it's going to have to be. Well, so every time you have well. tuttle huddle, awesome things have happened in my world. So I'm, I'm yeah, excited. Doing those. We actually do them every day now, <laughs> and we're probably going to keep doing that. Um, um, you know. For okay, a while. so then to to amend, then the last three awesome things that have happened for me personally have happened after a tuttle huddle. So <laughs> I'm excited I, about those. I don't I, know what's I, going on there. I we, guess I we, we work our freaking nards off is what's know, going on. Like that, I know it, the whole team is is. I mean, it's, and M Blue popped into the leadership like where where we do most of our work. Uh, he popped into that channel yesterday. And he was like. like Part of me wants to tell all of you crazy people to stop working on Easter, but also part of me wants to just tell you, oh my goodness, it's amazing to be part of a team where everyone <laughs> just wants to work on Easter because <laughs> everyone, everyone, almost everyone showed up. So it's good. Anyway, what's going on? How you guys doing? What are we doing here? What was uh, happening? Well, what's here's what name? I thought. I, I mean, <laughs> you, Corey, uh, King of Uplift. Oh, geez. No, please. yeah. I just got called Sir Greg. So well, that, that, I mean, I, I can get behind that actually. That makes okay. sense. Uh, I live for the nightlife. <laughs> See the the nightlife, Cause, sir. Anyway, <laughs> I did not, Ginny. I'll get there in just a moment. Ginny saying, "Did you see the books ne next to each shell?" No, I didn't. There's a book here. Let's see. What do we got? Um, oh, cool. 
Oh, look at that. So this That's is this so is one big. of the things this is one of the things we want to make sure that people get that we're we're not just grabbing these motifs because they're cool looking, although they are. We want to make sure that we're able to tell stories about the about the figures that you see around our world and 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 pay some honor to the Maya civilization, the Aztec civilization, other uh, Mesoamerican civilizations. Uh, oh, look, there's one also for that. Oh, we haven't uh, we haven't done the thing yet. Okay, so there'll be a little write up there about what what this uh, what the statue represents. I will tell you that the 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 kneeling figure is not Atlas. Somebody uh, compared him to Atlas. That may be true. The Atlas is an ancient Greek thing. I believe this is completely original to Jen uh, to Ginny. I, she designed these uh, to hold up the pyramid. We decided to continue that motif because he is literally holding up the portal into our world. So when you arrive in Chicken Cod, this will be the very first place. Uh, that you that you see, so I, and, I know this uh, probably isn't going to be a popular idea. Yes, but it needs more sea lanterns. No, no, it you doesn't. Can't really. Oh, you know what the thing is? This is my shaders, and I do. You know what it is? The silver shader. That's what's going on because you can actually see that at a much higher resolution than I ever could. Like watch, also, watch this. Let me share my screen so, so you can sure. see. Like and th like again, like the silver uh, uh, shader is worth it for all the like sunrise sunset thing that that I do all the time. Uh, watch the difference. This is interesting. I, I didn't realize the print this was, which is probably look at that. Oh yeah, that's what, you can't. See, see, the, you know, within you the shaders, shit. there's there's a hundred little adjustments, right? No, I know, and I've I've done them all to make it brighter, and it didn't do anything. Yeah, last time you looked, you had your set on gloomy. Uh, it, which, but no, I changed it off that. That's okay, well, 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 it's then look it's not. A, this sounds like a you problem. Sixty nine. <laughs> Let's go hundred percent. Hundred percent brightness. It changed almost nothing. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that's a you problem. <laughs> yeah, no, it's like, I, I get that. I'm just saying, like, because uh, there's a lot of reasons to want to do this shader. Right. Uh, and this is not one of them. <laughs> so, anyway. <laughs> All right. So, because, so Corey, what I wanted to do today, I've been getting a lot of private message questions about what's for sale, survival versus, uh, versus creative, mm -hmm. et cetera, et cetera. And I thought I would kind of lay all that out today. And I, I want to show off. Uh, I figured I'd fly down and show the areas that are for sale. Literally, uh, you can't see the lines on the ground, but we can see it on the 2D map. I'm going to have to be careful flying down there because there's some stuff I don't want to show off yet that's happening. Okay. Uh, yeah, there's a big oh, secret nice project going fountain. on. Okay. Good. What's that? Um, no, oh. I, was just, uh, I was just out front showing the fountain. Um, so so the, the first thing I want to show you is this happened over the last three days. We talk about the Maya Quarter where we, we have the pyramid. That's usually the, with the giant chicken on top. That's usually the first thing people think of. When they think of chicken ka, can't imagine why they make that association, but it is there. But look what's happened now. Um, this whole area now is being laid out in 50 by 50 and 25 by 25 little plots. Uh, these are not going to be for sale in the land sale. That's the first thing you need to know. But when all this started, this was our, our plan all along. These will eventually be sold. Uh, oh. So people can have a house basically right in the, in the, the Maya quarter in Chicken Ka, you'll be able to pick your neighborhood, the the Axitotl neighborhood, which is yeah. the giant uh, salamander, uh, the parrot neighborhood. By the way, there's now a, an aviary. Over this here. Uh, this land, Greg. Yes, Corey. <laughs> it's uh, it's going to be very valuable. I think Just you're right as a as a guy, not as the guy who runs the uplift, like. Just as a dude, like understanding that I'm very likely going to add a zero to the prices in the wedge that's going to get sold in uh, um, Center City, right? Like, I don't know, I don't know if 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 it's going to be like that, but like I and you guys are in control of this. You can do it however you want to do it, um, but uh, but pricing this is going to be really interesting because it's just it's. This is really cool. That's not, yeah, that's and we we just don't awesome. we just don't want to know. We we don't know what to do yet. Like we, we that's why we're not in a big yeah, hurry. To, to no, and here. I think right, and I think waiting at least until mid May to make that decision makes a lot of sense. Right for a, a lot the, of reasons. There's the Haitian Loving root school. That I mean, that to me, like anytime you almost make Anne Blue cry, it's like it's good, <laughs> and that 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 thing near got him. So as you can see, we also we didn't terraform these. We built the streets. People are going to be allowed to do whatever they want uh, uh, with these. Some of them we have a lot more boundaries. terrain, right? Yeah. Yes. With the, the, cool. So that's a twenty-five by twenty-five right there. Thanks. 
and that would be pretty much the smallest thing for sale anywhere in the uplift. I don't, are there any 25 by 25s elsewhere? Negative. Right? And so these are 50 by 50s. These are more in line with what you'll get as your random land plot, uh, in your, your London land plot, <laughs> uh, and some other places that you could buy. But, but essentially, we wanted you to see that this is, uh, this is what we started out with. And this is just one tiny, tiny little postage stamp uh, within the land holding. So there will be other neighborhoods that we develop that are themed differently. Like it's entirely possible the next one is a super modern beach resort. Uh, or uh, or an Africa theme. We, we, you know, we haven't gone too far down the road of determining what's next because, as you can see, we've been pretty hard at work uh, making all this work. Uh, yeah, it's really good. All right, so I want to share a different screen now. I want to show you guys on the 2D map when we talk about the land sale what we're talking about exactly. So give me just a moment here to pull that up. Uh, why isn't that? Uh, there it is. Uplift World. Uh, and I know this is going to be hard for you guys to see on your on your cellular devices. Let me minimize this window so I can tool around here. Um, essentially, as you zoom in, there's the transport hub and the the, the red dome on top, uh, where we uh, we you will spawn into our world when you come visit Chicken Ka. Uh, you'll have to make your way down some stairs into the transport hub, and then uh, the Maya Quarter is the neighborhood. I mean, and it's immediately adjacent. Uh, Katie Katie was worried that we weren't going to be able to fit this this 25 corner. Look, it. <laughs> woo, <laughs> we came really close to not being able to fit this neighborhood uh, where we had originally planned. But uh, the, I think I love this row of twenty fives is pretty neat. Uh, that one right there is spoken for. Uh, I think the mayor is going to put a house there. So, uh, so there you go. That's but that's basically to give you an idea how small an area we're talking about now. When you zoom all the way out to look at all of the Chicken Ka region, uh. It's pretty large compared to so on this map what's going to be for sale in the upcoming land sale is going to be this center section up here at the top of the map and you can see that it's gridded out into 50 by 50s and i believe 100 by 100s is that correct Corey? uh yeah and then there's rail that uh, rail, rail plots within that first thing all of the rail plots that you see on this map the little the little green checkerboard squares all of them are going to be for sale in this land sale. So I don't think we're going to sell out like uh, like happened on the other servers. I don't think that's a realistic <laughs> expectation. You're just continuing the tradition? No, like, no, I mean it. I, I, I don't think we will. I don't think we will see. Hey, All right, is so it like, are, we, are we surveying out the other squares? Or is it really just two? I think these are all yet to be surveyed. I, I actually don't. Okay, on the bottom. Okay, uh, I was wondering that, about that. That guy, Corey, is handling that? So no, Kate, Katie's handling that, but she's she got pulled away by some fucking asshole team called Chicken Ka to start doing shit. <laughs> oh come on, no, she did no, that she, no, hours, no, 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 no. She she totally she totally asked, and 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 I said go for it, just because I like we're yeah you know, we're um again not going to be uh, um minting these things or doing anything with them until again like the our target window is tenth to the fifteenth, right? Um and and we've got some challenges to push it towards the end of that window, so she's she's got a little bit. It'll be good to have it done just to kind of start showing people. But it's yeah, yeah right. So so this top center section will be plots that are for sale. Yep. And this bottom one and these along the bottom row will be divided up like these top and bottom awesome. ones. And so that's that's what's coming up in the, the chicken cod land sale and all of the rail plots. Uh yeah. there's some that are marked in red that are pre-owned, yeah. but all the rest of it will be for sale. Like ninety-eight percent of it's a lot of it or more. Yeah. yeah. Uh, there's a ton of rail going to be for sale in uh, Chicken Ka. And Corey, help me out. The pricing is going to be, you're going to start the bidding. It's going to be a true auction. Oh, at excuse me. 10% below the lowest so, secondary yeah, market. Each each one, and you're going to be able to click on the, the 2D map, find out the, the region name, um, and, like and, and find that on uh, uh, Atomic Hub. And it's going to have its own auction. That auction is going to start 10% below the lowest cost for rail when we set the auction up, right? So we're going to go in, take a look at what a single rail is going for, knock 10% uh, off the wax price, um, and that's going to be where the auction starts for every single piece of rail, right? And so some near the, the transport hub might go a little bit more. Um, I would imagine some around the outer ring would probably be the, the, the best if you want to get the lowest possible uh, price for them. But that's So that's how that's going to run. And then the land pieces are going to start the same way, right? And of course, whether it's a big piece of land or a small piece of land, uh, it's going to start at ten percent below the lowest price for a single piece of land uh, uh, on Atomic Hub, you know, at that time. Um, right. And then, and then, of course, we imagine the bigger 
uh, ones will get uh, bit up a little bit, and you know you might be able to find some around the outskirts or something. And that's the thing; we've never done this. We just we we know this will work because basically, like you know, you're either going to want the stuff or you're not. Um, and uh, and and yeah. All right, so so there you go. That whole bottom tier uh, will be for sale. All the rail, all the and it will be subdivided in a similar fashion to this. You can see she's already built the 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 rail line uh, through it to make the plots around. Uh, and there'll be different sizes, right? So you might want to pay more for a 250 than uh, than a 50. You know, if you want more room to build. Uh, Esther, the, uh, Esther is uh, Yuri. Yuri's asking, um, uh, is it possible to localize permissions to be able to build only within a 25 by 25 section? Yeah, that's exactly what we're doing. Uh, these little, uh, well, these are 50 by 50s, but we, we can localize it to down to 25 by 25. Yeah. We, we can, can actually do. localize it down to a single square if we wanted to. Right, um, right. And we're not going to do that because it's ridiculous. But one one thing people should should understand for the future, sort of as an advanced thing that we're not doing right now, is going to come up like probably before the end of the year. Um, right now, all of these regions are from the bedrock, which is zero, to the top of the sky, which is 255 blocks up, right? And and right. the average sort of sea level land is like between 60 and, and 70 up or whatever, right? right. Um, what's important to understand is that we can actually create regions that are like floors in a building. Um, and so th they won't be uh, um, necessarily be the entire height, although all of the land right now is, 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 is going to be that way. Um, and we're going to have a service uh, sometime before the end of 2021, where you can split your NFTs into smaller versions um, and and uh, and sell them off. Again, that's like and it, fl floors on a skyscraper, kind of things like that. Right, 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 right. Um, and so, so that's that's gonna be really interesting. We want to put that in, into people's heads because, like, the land that you get, like, you look at a 2D map, you're like, oh, cool, like I get a little thing. You actually get what looks like an office tower. A giant office tower of land with every rail piece, as an example, right? Um, and that same thing is going to be true for uh, uh, for the land, or you know that that some people will start picking up around the city. Although I think that there's probably going to be build height limits around the uh, the pyramid, um, and that you can talk to the mayor about that stuff. Yeah, we 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 don't want anything in the in the the Maya quarter here to eclipse the height of the transport center or the the pyramid. Uh, well, then you'd we, almost want to be able to see it a little bit from the rail too, right? Like, have you guys thought about any of that stuff? Not really. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Well, <laughs> again, the, it, and I'm, you're going to hear this from me a lot. The best rule is no rule, right? So, yeah. it, also, it, get off the simplest. train and go see it, uh, right? Yeah, no, that, <laughs> that 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 makes sense to me. Okay, Having been on, I hate cruises because, like, I got four hours in St. Thomas. No, fuck that. I'm going to fly to St. Thomas. I'm going to get a little motel room over the beach and a scooter. I'm gonna uh -huh. stay there for two fucking weeks and actually see the place. So don't don't cruise past uh, the the pyramid. I get out and walk around. That's why we built all this crazy shit. So you get out and walk around. So you make a yeah, little wax, no, and we make a little I, wax. And... I'm, I'm picking up what you're laying down. Uh, yeah. Brad said, so if someone were building a university, they could potentially have dorm rooms for the students. Now I don't know what the cost will be for creating a single region, but it definitely will not be zero because there's actually time involved for us. Um, like that's that's going to require a human surveyor to to come out and do that. Um, so then it's just a cost variable. But but yes, that that's a, that's a thing that you could do if uh, um, you know if you have the the capital to to accomplish it. I also want to show this off. We added a little bonus to the the level three uh, generosity NFTs for the Chicken Cod Genesis NFT package. Go on. Uh, if you if you buy a uh, one of the level threes, and I think maybe eight of them have been sold so far, seven or eight. You're going to get one of these 11 by 10 shops uh, that are graded. We out can't here. see that. Yeah, let's let's pop in and show oh, them that. I'm really sorry. Cool. That's a that's how a dare stupid, you. Stupid uh, so uh, uh, I think 10 of them uh, have gone out. Oh, that's nice. So, that's uh, that's serious. Yeah. That's serious money. Anyway, so this is inside the transport hub. You'll arrive down the little stairs over here, and the you know very first place you'll be is inside our. <laughs> <laughs> rusted this last night uh that's, oh, that's awesome that's yeah, really cool so i've needed that so many times right? that's really good it does kind of look all the same in here so far but uh if you uh, buy one of those uh, so that means 10 of these are already spoken for wow uh you'll get a shop right here in the transport hub where you can mm -hmm. put up uh, nfts or or sell items in-game items if you're part of the survival world economy and things like that there we just thought we wanted to throw something to people who are uh, investing significant amounts of money and making sure that the lights stay on and the reward pool stays uh, stays viable uh, forever. So let's uh, let's do this. Let's let's fly. Wait a minute. Let me look at the floor north. Let's fly north. 
uh, and we'll go out to where that the the stuff that's actually for sale is. We'll go we'll go have a look at fly over that land. Why not? Right. Um, and I also want to show off a little bit of what I've been doing in Crownlandia. Uh, Lisa Chandler's Crownlandia project borders the is the western edge of uh, the Chicken Cod region. The region itself is five thousand by five thousand blocks. And the city, the city of Chicken Cot itself is three thousand by three thousand, and everything outside of that is is personally held lands or lands that we have, uh, we have uh, part parted with. Uh, we wanted, we wanted, and Lisa wanted to be part of the the Chicken Cot experience. So, uh, her three one thousand by one thousand plots that are owned by Crown and I believe CSX and her personally are along our western border, and uh, you will have to access them by going to the Chicken Cot portal. And then looking at the floor and traveling uh, west is how you'll get there. <laughs> Let's see. So all this is land that we have yet to develop. I mean, we really haven't made any plans for what to do with all this amazing ter terrain up here. Uh, we think that one of these zones will probably be, uh, we want it to be a mob hunting zone, but we're finding out that it may be, uh, it may be that visitors can't kill mobs on our land. And that would kind of take the fun out of having a hunting preserve. But uh, that's why we haven't decided on mobs yet, because what we don't want is people visiting and not be able to defend themselves if they're attacked by mobs. Um, it's not like we're Ken Bozak or anything like that. <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm lost. Let me look at the map. Hang on. Oh, yeah. No, okay. Uh, I didn't realize we'd laid rail this far north, but uh, this is actually right in the middle of the stuff that's for sale. Um, this is all land that's going to be in the land sale. And you got some savanna biome over here and some nice thick forest biome, some beautiful mountain terrain down south here. I mean, if you want to build yourself uh, uh, the mines of Moria, <laughs> this is a pretty good place to buy a plot over here. Yeah, the road actually goes, you can see the road peeking through right under there. So the rail line actually goes under all these mountains. That's actually pretty cool. Yeah, I I love that. Remember somebody was like, oh, you're like, oh, the tunnels. Oh, you're going to have to clean up the land. Shut up. Like, look at these tunnels. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I, I'm a huge fan. It just because it adds to the uniqueness of every one, it does. You know? It does, and some of them have lava flowing over the railroads. You'll have to fix that. Some of them have yeah. water, uh, hey, so you'll uh, have some work to do once you get in here. Yeah, it looks great. The bricks look really cool in your shader, too. So, also, Martin asked, You're gonna have a lot of material to mine, and frankly, materials are finite, right? Once everything's mined yeah. out, it's yeah. mined out. Yeah, sorry, go ahead. No, that's that's uh, good, good note, sort of good note. Uh, excited about the upcoming sales auction. Did you guys mention a date for it though? We did not. There is a window that is a target for our team. There's a, there's a bunch of things that we have to get done before that. Um, so we're not setting timelines, you know, date certain on anything until everything is ready and everything is not ready. Uh, so our window right now is between the 10th and the 15th. Uh, right now we're getting some a, a delay on a couple of things that we need to uh, follow through on for uh, uh, the original sale that we did. Like that, all that stuff needs to be done uh, first and, and sort of well established and, and on a perfect timeline before we do this uh, um, before we do this auction. So you know, thinking in terms of when you want to be ready, you want to be ready uh, sort of between. Uh, oh, that's um, crazy! Look at this. that. Is that is crazy? Between like the probably the twelfth and the fifteenth now, because I think there's actually some sales going on on the uh, the tenth and eleventh that we don't want to uh, necessarily interfere interfere with. So um, I'd say like if you're if you're trying to prepare, you know, be. Uh, on, you know, at the ready between the 12th and the 15th. And it might even start, like I almost want to say just like the 15th or after at this point, just because again, there's some delays on our side on a, on a couple of really important things we're working on as of this morning. Uh, and then, the, you know, the auction's going to run for three days. So you're not going to have to do it like right off the bat, right? You're going to be able to come in and bid on whatever you want to bid. Uh, and of course, things might get interesting towards the end, but who knows? You know what I'm saying? Yep. So this represents the upper right corner of uh, the city of Chicken Cop proper. Okay. So everything that surrounds this is 1,000 by 1,000s that are these right. ones on the north. But this is, uh, I believe, Elizabeth Wood. This yeah. is her trunk. And, but, but what starts here, a kitty corner to this, is actually my 1,000 by 1,000 Pirate Cove. Oh, yeah. You totally got to show us that. Your stuff is so cool, man. Oh, thank you, dude. That, you know, shucks. Uh, 
I'm really sad you're not in that valley so I could start singing the song in my head, but that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Maybe we can do that. Well, there's not much of a valley, but eh, I'll take so it. So this is the village that's on the corner of my plot. You can see I've put torches all over it and built a wall to preserve the mobs. Uh, so we got, I don't know, probably 15 villagers living there. That's good. Um, now, when it translated in, there were some things that broke, but it's okay. They weren't major things, and I've managed to fix them already. Mostly, I think I got one little repair job left to do. But this is the this is the Castillo de San Marco from St. Hey, Augustine, Florida. You money? I gotta go grab some more. I'll be right back. Yeah, yeah. I'll just uh, continue to tour around here. Um, yeah, I wanted to build a model of a fort from uh, my part of the world, which is uh, Florida, and so we did that. And of course, I, I like the pirate theme, so we built some cargo ships. This is the shipwreck that naturally uh, spawned into the world. And then, um, see, what's the best way for me to get you guys to see all this? Um, yeah, of course, it's it's a pirate castle, so we got to have like some underground uh, passages and things like that. And uh, do I have a rail car on me? I can get one because I'm in creative mode for the tour. Um, yeah, so we're gonna ride out to uh, show you what the rest of the world looks like here. Gee, I hope I fixed it all. There you go. Coral Reef on both sides of the track. And this is, a, I haven't finished repairing it yet. This is an agricultural research station that I have to rebuild the, uh, I have to rebuild the stairways and all that because it got kind of damaged in the move. And then if you uh, take the, the rail the rest of the way out, again, riding through a beautiful coral reef. Coral reef is my favorite biome uh, in the entire Minecraft. What the heck? What just happened? Oh, I had a piece of missing track. I'll be darned. There we go. Son of a gun. What's going on there? Anyway, I'll just walk the rest of the way. I'll fly as fast as I can ride the railroad. Um, so out here, there's a naturally occurring shipwreck that I built a kind of a museum and aquarium around. And uh, the uh, the fish and turtles did not respawn correctly. So I get that. Like I said, there's a few things I have to fix. I had to rebuild part of the tunnel, but here you go. We have a nice uh, underwater shipwreck over here. And I'm just showing you the guys this is like, this is the kind of things you'll be able to do once you're in the world and set the build. I did a lot of this in survival mode, some of it in creative, but mostly in survival, including emptied out all the water that was in these tunnels. And uh, up top here, we made a nice little, uh, you know, nice little place with a palm tree and a fire and a uh, place to sit on the beach and watch the watch the stuff in the distance. There you go. Yeah. See the shipwreck down there. I love this game. Um, and, and then I, fi I finally built. I finally built my house. Uh, I had been working on the house for a while and. I didn't want to continue until after the move happened. And so I finally have uh, pretty much completed work on this is my house in uh, the Chicken Ka region. Of course, I'm going to have to have a house in town since I'm the mayor, you know, when I'm in the city for big mayoral duty functions. I will be doing that shortly. But yeah, it's got it's, uh, over the water, which I love. I live in a place in the world where you can have houses on the water, you know, literally on the water. And uh, this is my, uh, my kind of fantasy domicile out here right off the beach at... Uh, CK. All right. But the reason I'm flying around up here really is because I want to show off what we're doing for Crown Landia. If I can get my, my orientation correct, I believe it's down this way. Um, the old, oh, thank you, Lou. That's, that's, that's awesome. Thank you, Brad. I appreciate it. Uh, I've recently tried the Silders vibrant shaders and they seem best for me to fix the two dark areas. Well, Corey's having the opposite problem. They just look too dark on his, on his machine. I'm not even sure why that is. Uh, so what happened here with the move is the Crownlandia uh, properties were moved in immediately adjacent to my my 1,000 by 1,000. So this is my property over here and just south of me. Uh, this is the start of the Crownlandia uh, lands. This is the northernmost chunk of that. And we're going to get right over here to where I wanted to show off just for a minute. This is the start of Crownlandia town. The first few things I built in here were the visitor center and the construction office. And you can see I've started mapping out where there will be homes, uh, little tiny houses. Now, Lisa doesn't have a, a plan to uh, to sell homes in Crownlandia. She wants to give them away. And those will be people that are part of the Crownlandia community. 
so how she doles that out, that's not really my department, but I just wanted to kind of show how much space little home plots will take up. Uh, Lisa, I see that you're in the comments here, so it's a good time to tell you that this little town square is 28 wide and uh, looks like about 75 to maybe 100 long. So we can actually build like a town square that has some larger shops and businesses and presence in it and then homes all the way around it. And this will be the first kind of town that develops in the Crownlandia region. Uh, there is a non-player character village right here. It's just, uh, it, it generated naturally when we moved things. And then we're going to build a beach resort on all this land out here uh, that goes all the way to, uh, to a point. You can see it's a nice beach. So this will be the beach resort uh, for the Crownlandia region right over here. And I believe that's also a partial shipwreck right there. Maybe. It is. So you got a shipwreck right there at the beach. We can make like a cool diving spot for people to go see stuff. So that's cool. Um, so what I did yesterday was I, I started putting in rail lines. These are not the official for sale kind of rail lines. Those are out at the borders of, uh, of the edge. Of the, by the way, um, I'm going to go to the map. That's what I'm going to do uh, and show you. See, you see the rail line right there. So let me uh, stop sharing that. Reshare that. All right, so I want to show you is where we are. This is the pirate plot that we were just flying around. That's my personal holdings. And you can see that the chicken car rail line runs all the way around it. Uh, so all of these rail plots, even way out here, are going to be for sale. Uh, not sure how much traffic you're going to get, but you know, you could generate traffic by building something really awesome and cool on your rail plots. That's a thing. Also, people that are coming to access uh, either, uh, either Crownlandia or to have a look at my pirate world, you know, they'll need to use these rails to get there because flying won't be an option. I don't think. Um, so anyway, what we're just looking at is uh, basically what I've started to lay out. Hello. Why is that taking so long to move? There we go. Uh, you can see we were just lying over the yellow squares on the ground. That's where I have the the, the the idea for having the first town in Crownlandia. And there's a lot of land to use for that. Beach resort over here. Uh, the giant sky island and park. I'll show you guys in just a minute. And then down here at the south edge where you come into uh, this is the Crownlandia area. This is, I think, going to be like the entertainment and arts district. There will probably be uh, a theater and some stadiums and things like that down here. But we're leaving some land unassigned because we're going to need it for building farms and things like that to feed people who are visiting the world. But this long rail line here, again, is not one of the official rail sail lines that you see at the edges. This is internal, and it uh, it travels from, from the center east-west line at Chicken Kai. You can see the transport hub here at the right edge of my screen. Uh, and then you would travel all the way out and get on the smaller rail to go to Crownlandia. And we're going to make another line that runs south. And Lisa has in mind to make a big <coughs> North Pole, Santa Claus, Christmassy kind of region and all the snowy stuff. And then below that, uh, not sure what the plan is for this bottom thousand that uh, Lisa and uh, Crown own. But uh, again, it's all surrounded by rail plots. So buying these rail plots, you know, if we're building touristy things for people to see, uh, having rail plots that are near them or serve them, probably a good idea. So basically, I'm going to go back to the game now. Yeah, and we're going to uh, we're going to ride the rail. That's what we're going to do. I think Sorry, there's too dude. many. That's okay. We're, we're, I I'm like showing, riding uh, the rail. I showed people what I've been doing in Crownlandia, which is. Uh, Hey, can I tell you something crazy? Yes. So I just look <clears throat> for some reason I just I had to look at my bank for something. Uh-huh. This is totally like an aside. Um you, know, you get like 0.01% in a savings account. And I yeah. was the only reason why this is interesting to me in this moment, even the rail cars look cool. That's that's fun. The texture pack is kind of tight. I this like is the one that uh, that Ginny uses. Although, why her sky is so cool and mine's not, I don't know yet. Who knows? Um, hey, Sue hey, is guys. actually Sue is building something fucking amazing. At oh the yeah, the, and I can just say this now. Oh, oh, hold on, I turn my video off. Not that I'm all that interesting, but the uh, yeah, if you can actually go north from the cathedral now and find a giant building with a giant L on it, that's for uh, that's for Legend Art. Nice. Um, which, in case anyone didn't know, I've hinted at this a bunch. Legend.art is actually the company that acquired the Uplift. Um, they are a big effing deal. 
uh, and they get a big building, which is fun. And I don't know uh, if you saw this story, but with my, my render distance on, you can see this is where the Crownlandia town is going to be. Yeah, yeah. There's my house over there, then the pirate fort. Like, oh like, man, that's awesome. That render distance is two. It's pretty pretty good. Uh, anyway, so what I want to show is I built a railroad yesterday, a rail line that'll serve from the main east east west rail line in Chicken Ka into uh, into Crownlandia, and and Lisa had some really cool specific ideas for what to do with all that space. So we're just going to ride it out here. Is what we're going to do. Uh, I think I put too many light posts up. I think they, they interfere too much, so I'm going to have to take a bunch of those out. Haven't assigned this land on the right yet. I think eventually uh, that'll get used, but for right now, we start building a town and an entertainment center and stuff like that there. Yeah, this is the boring part of the rail journey. Um, uh, I didn't fly across it, but the Sky Island is over there. It's like out, this view will be the Sky Island as you come south. <clears throat> this is what I did yesterday. Just hanging out. Yeah, you know, building rail like you do. So yeah, this area coming up on the left is going to be a big like arts and entertainment area. We're going to have uh, probably a stadium and a theater and whatever else the community members want built in there. All right, this is where the rail line gets interesting. <laughs> I hope it works all the way through. This it looks really good too. Whoa. Zip. Oh, shoot. Oh, well, that wasn't good either. What the heck? What just happened? How'd you do that? I don't know. I fell off the edge of the platform, I guess. Okay. And then I broke the rail because I'm a genius. All right. Just done. Oh, nice. You know, uh, some uh, it's wrecked kid actually on Twitter. Um, did some big thing and decided to donate a portion of it to Uplift Art. It's like 105 uh -huh. EOS, which is like 700 bucks or some stupid. Oh, thing. nice! Yeah, it's fucking crazy. That uh, was confusing. Okay, so right after we started talking about uh, Crownlandia and me doing work for uh, for Lisa for Crownlandia, somebody in their community passed away. And uh, he was apparently really fond of mountaineering and, and skiing and, and, uh, and other outdoor activities. And Lisa asked me to find a spot where we could have a memorial to him. Oh, uh, is that and, a big Mike's friend? Yeah. Oh, so it's this stupid. beautiful, this kind of overhang cavern, I lit it up. I haven't done anything else with it yet, but this is going to be the memorial space. Uh, That's good case. This little valley. So I thought that was kind of a pretty spot. And also above it, You'll notice that there's a lot of uh, a lot of Arctic stuff. So we could build. Uh, we're thinking maybe about building a ski resort here. You know what I mean? Like building ramps and lifts and things like that to sh to like make it look like a ski resort in the valley here. But there's a stop. There's a train stop in the whistle or in the uh, in the valley here, just to make sure people can get off, and if they'd like to, to pay their respects. So that's a thing. That's awesome. Um, onward we go. Uh, maybe. Man, I broke rail again. How dare you? I don't know what the hell's wrong with me? It's like I've never played Minecraft before. Right? What do you do? <laughs> oh, speaking of that guy. So you see it, it's going to approach an area where it stops being green and turns mostly white. And that's where we intend to make like a, a, a Santa Claus North Pole village kind of thing out there on the, on the frozen tundra. And also there will be another rail line, rail line that runs on the left side of this one that goes south. That'll be the one that goes down to the edge of CSX and whatever Dwayne wants to develop down in that part of, uh, of the Crownlandia holdings. So I think I did I do think I put too many of these these light posts up. 
I don't know. No, I kind of I don't it hate them. Really cool. It looks cool at night, that's for sure. I can only imagine. And this is uh so this brings us back to uh there you go. Now we're at the edge of uh the edge of Chicken Ka. Nice. Right? This is the, the main rail lines that, that if you go east along that one, you come to the transportation hub. So this is this will be the direct route to get to uh to get to uh, Crownlandia by coming out here. Man, oh man. So all of this rail that you see, not the little three or five wide stuff, but the fifty wide stuff, all of this is gonna be for sale. Uh in the rail sale that's coming up for chicken cost. So I just kind of wanted to, I just kind of wanted to show you guys how much of an enormous space we're talking about here. Um, we got, you know, we, we got a lot going on. Not all of it's for sale this time around as far as land goes, but you should know that that big area that you looked at in the center there that isn't for sale, we're going to be chopping up and selling some of that. Maybe not all of it, but quite a bit of it. Uh, see, so I think that like right over here is a great place for like a North Pole experience where you have like little Christmas chalets and candy, giant candy canes and uh, llamas because that's very Christmassy, um, right? Polar bears, polar bears at Christmas go together like uh, cottage cheese and ice cream. So that was a joke. Uh, so anyway, yeah, over here will be like a polar or winter wonderland kind of thing. And uh, that's uh, that's the tour. That's really all I wanted to show people was just what was going to be for sale, and uh, and how it figures into the bigger picture. Wh why we want you to be participate in Chicken Cause. Number one, uh, we want this to be a vibrant community where a bunch of people participate and do cool stuff. And we want your artistic talents on display over here. Um, and everybody that showed up has shown us something amazing, and been in, more and more included in the team. <laughs> so. Uh, if that's you, you know, come build something fascinating and amazing out here on uh, on on Chicken Ka. Um, some basic questions that were answered: No, this is not the same server as uh, as Londom, nor the same server as Gratitude. This is its own server, uh, and we have a lot of support from our friend Corey to uh, to make sure that we got off to a good start here. We're sort of a test case for future servers that might want to self operate and self manage, and uh, we we like being crash test dummies, so that worked out for us. Uh, we have an incredible creative team over here that wants to help uh, other people build cool stuff and, uh, you know, advise, things like that. But as far as sales in the city proper, like down where the transportation hub is, that's not it's not time for that yet. I would imagine we're probably six months away from being ready to uh, to sell things in, in here in the center of the city. Does that sound about right to you, Corey? Yes. Did you did you know what I asked or you... not even remotely? I didn't fucking. <laughs> I'm sorry. Can you try that again? I, I just thought that that it seems to me like selling land in the uh, inside the city proper probably six months away. I don't think that's an. Oh, thing. crazy pants! That's too far. You think so, huh? Oh yeah. Um, yeah, I you know and and who knows, right? We'll 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 figure it out for note. Um. Yeah, it. six months feels way too long to me. Hmm. Um, but we'll see. What's that? Possible future home of the chicken cob mayor. Uh, oh, we, we've each adorable. decided to we're going to grab a twenty five each in the Maya quarter to build that's a good idea. The house. Yeah, and yeah. That's where I want mine. It's right on the water, right near the transport hub. That's right a under, pretty. That's a right pretty up good under spot. the llama's butt. So you get. See, this is the thing too. Food. Like. It, this is this is such a good education for me, uh, in the regards that like, just thinking about the the amount of value. Like, go back to that spot that you're looking at. Um, so you know you're picking this for yourself, and that's awesome, right? And and some of it will be you know for sale or whatever. Um, and the uh, the the value that's been created. Like the demand that's been created for this one spot um, is is really incredible, right? Like the rail wasn't there before, the pyramid wasn't there before, the transport hub wasn't there before, and 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 and, and right. Like you had like a little beachfront thing, great. You can get that in any Minecraft server on the face of the earth, right? Like that, that's easy. the The people that are going to be there to be your neighbors here is worth something, right? Like, and this is where like the sort of crossover from like the sort of normal uh um you know 
in the real world uh, kind of real estate markets versus sort of this metaverse thing. It just gets more fascinating to me all the time. Right. Um, well, we and, wanted and we wanted it to be like a real, like a fantasy no, city you could live in. I, I know. You know? And, and this is this again, like I, I didn't intend for this to be one of the smartest things I would ever do, but it turns <laughs> out, you know, like we wanted to see what this would be like. And of course, you know, we wanted to make sure that that the people that that you know had spent the most time and, and energy into breathing life into this initially, you know, had a kind of meaningful equity, right? And you know. Not all, like it's just talk about a win, 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 like all over the place. Uh, you know, you guys, I think, are going to do really well here, and it's going to become a model for what's possible. Uh, and that has sort of uh, kind of always been in the back of my head. And the amount of right now work and 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 energy that you guys have put into this, and just like the creative, like you guys are just the creative insanity that's gone into this. It's just so <laughs> epic. It's so epic. And now you know you're setting the the bar in a huge way. Um. And you know somebody's going to come in and do better, but I don't know when, right? Like it's well, I can't wait it's to not see like, it. I'm going to guess right? like, what? This is the thing. Like, I'm going to buy like, some land from them. Hell yeah! Like mine. Oh man, that's amazing for the parrot. Like the uh, um, the yeah, it's full, uh, full of little parrots too. It's, it's oh, that's crazy! Here. Like, oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Oh, there's little bears in there. <laughs> oh, so cool. you built a park back here. I didn't know she'd done this. Oh, nice. Oh wow. Look at that. What the I mean, hell? This is how the do you thing. even do that shit? This is who we are. This is like this is this is the new city you're moving into. People that just think of doing this at three o'clock in the morning and get up out of their bed. I'm, so Greg, I'm telling you right now, um, my mom and I are buying ten thousand US dollars worth of land in Chicken Caw. Oh <laughs> well that's like terrifying. Like that's fucking that's <laughs> happening. Yeah. Uh we talked about it. We talked about it this morning. Uh, by the way, everybody who decided to pick up some dent when I tweeted about it a month ago is 20 times richer right now. You're welcome. Nice. Actually, it's about 15, but still, like, pretty fucking good. Um, that's uh, actually part of the reason because I actually moved her into a position with that. Uh, oh. and so we've got uh, some some capital, as it were. So, um, so, so this is the thing. Yes, the land that's for sale is on the periphery of this big, giant uh, region, but... The, like this is aside from the actual infrastructure development of making the cities and the plaza and the things that everybody's going to see. There's a million hidden little things in here, man. Oh, I know. There's like a thousand <laughs> little little secret so statues along trails and 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 weird little art tributes and you know uh, everybody calling her the Banksy of the internet. Jen's been in here building amazing little attractions that you can only find if you walk down all these vine covered paths. I mean. Wow, it's just, and, and I have a feeling that that, like, the gratitude thing has spread throughout the entire world. And yeah. I, I kind of think the creativity thing is gonna be gonna be people are just gonna build crazy shit all over the place now. And yeah, it'll be a, a limitless experience of walking around and checking out cool stuff. I, so. I think that's true. By the time you, by the time someone sees everything now, there's three times there's more things to see. <laughs> that's been our experience for the past six months. I get to see this again, and we haven't even opened yet no right imagine like, all these rail plots all these yeah plots. i already had an idea for i want to take three in a row and make an aircraft carrier with a jet taking off you you're know what i mean like a long weirdo. Decorative... you're yeah. a super weirdo and i'm yeah. here for it i like it a lot <laughs> that's and i would never have thought of, like super like oh i want a shop or like a building or like a garden maybe and you're like yeah fuck you aircraft carrier, aircraft carrier. <laughs> <laughs> like the railways are going by and are like is that a fucking F-16? <laughs> yeah. Well, it would be an F-14 or an F-18. because. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Specificity. F-16s don't land on aircraft carriers because uh, they're See, probably... I would never have known that. You learn something new every day. That's really important. Yeah. So I, know your, I know your wife has an Air Force family, so make sure I razzed on uh, Air Force pilots not be able to land on aircraft carriers. Sure, 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 sure. <laughs> uh, so yeah. there you go. Look at that. I just love... Uh, this. I didn't think I was going to get excited about a city, a, a street grid. But I really, the more I look at this, the more I feel like, man, when people start building into this, we're going to height limit people's builds. That's true. And we would like them to be, you know, start looking up what Mesoamerican homes look like. Start looking up what Spanish colonial period homes look like right? in, in that universe. And start looking at what Caribbean homes look like in, in that universe. And, that's you fun. know, so. And, and kinda... again, whatever you want to build, build down. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Like that's the, the like infinite capability from, from there, you know, down. Which oh, by amazing. the way, there's all sorts of crazy shit underneath here too. Like not just 
you know, under the temple, there's huge ravines and mineable areas and all sorts of craziness going on down there. Yeah, so. that's it's just pretty, it's gonna be pretty good, Greg. I think. I mean, I'm feeling pretty good about it. You should, you should. The whole team should. You guys have done, you know, just ridiculous amounts of work. Yeah, I'm excited for you guys. All right, uh, that's all I wanted to do today. All right, nailed it. Just wanted to show people around, let them know what we were what we we're talking about. I'm going to go back over the map for a quick minute, uh, right. just because I want to make sure that people get. You know, I'm showing them all this beautiful stuff inside uh, the city of Chicken Ka, and that's not what's for sale just yet. So I want to make sure that we uh, that we do. How do you think this auction's going to go? Like, I don't even know, man. Because I'm trying to like I'm tr- I'm starting because I know I'm going to start get getting strategic questions. And I'll tell you, I'll tell everyone right now, I don't know. Because like part of me is like, do I want to try and go after a piece of rail next to the city? Like I'm going to bid on it for sure, just in case somebody right. misses it. Right. But like, shit. But I also want to make sure that I put some bids in for, you know, the family probably in the outer ring. I don't know. Like mm. I'll probably just, I'll probably spread it out. Um. But I don't know. <laughs> I love that we don't know. I love yeah. that. Like it's and possible to answer like, the strategic right. questions because people we don't keep know. asking me, like, "What would you do?" What? And I don't. I honestly don't know. <laughs> right. And and like, even if I had a suspicion, because this is the or, the growth of this is so organic, I don't think you even can know. But luckily, it's an open market, and you're never going to be stuck, right? If you'd prefer to be somewhere else, you can go to Atomic Hub and put your shit on sale. Um, and, uh, and, and, and do that, right? Like the, you know, there's, it's, it's going to be open. Like I'll probably do that with some of mine. Right. Um, especially, you know, cause I got a, a decent chunk of the original sale. Um, so yeah, it's going to be interesting, man. It's well, the reason I didn't buy anything in the original sales, cause I knew that we had all this to develop and I just, I wanted to focus on the community project. You know, I, know, what? I think that was smart. I mean that, you know, l- look at the, the amount of value that you've built up personally, Greg, the amount like that you did yourself. Yeah. Um, is is pretty intense, right? So, so, so okay, I want to go back to this conversation that we had once upon a time about my pirate <laughs> plot. Yeah. When you said if you were going to sell it, what would you sell for? I don't know, like, five hundred bucks. I think it was less. I think uh, I you think, said less. And you said at a zero. Oh. I was like, well, that's fucking ridiculous. I'll I, tell you what, I might put this on auction for. Uh, well, no, I now that I think about what else we've sold, uh, as Dude, far as a large kilometer goes, now. Okay, let me just dollars, tell you easily. Let me let me explain to you something. This happened this morning. Somebody was looking at the Genesis map, a group of investors, and they said, we want something that looks like this. It was the 250 and something that looks like this. And it was like the mini squares, like the 500 by 500. Right, right. And I was like, you know, trying to kind of establish like a community that's trying to get a land grant. Or whatever. No, no, we're investors. Um, and they want to spend like between 30 and $100,000. <laughs> now, they did the math, though. They right. did the math that my dear friend Greg has not. Okay, so, uh, I like wow. until you until you understand it, don't even think about putting it on sale. <laughs> That's for real, yeah. right? And and who knows, right? Because like anything can happen, and we none of us know. None of us have any clue how this is going to end up, right? right? We can make guesses. That's all they are. It's all speculation. Yada 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 yada. Right? Um, there's obviously a lot of energy and a lot of hype, and great. Um, but yeah, I mean, the thing is, we just don't know. Like we're one of the reasons why we want to do the auction is like there's something called price discovery. Like we we want to know what the 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 best sort of you know market price fit is because right. we don't know that yet until until because that's what like we as a community as buyers, which of course I am a buyer as well, you know where where we end up on this stuff, um and you know the chicken cost seven keep ramping up the fucking value enough so that like I like <laughs> who, like I have no clue what those rails near there are gonna go for, dude. But it's right. like not gonna be one x right like where is that going to end up? And I just, I don't know. Nice. Uh, yeah. Ginny's saying she wants all the rail, all the rail she can get that borders her property. Yeah. I mean, that's good a luck. pretty good plan. That's a pretty yeah, good plan. Yeah. I mean, that's you'd like, you need a around. mint. You would need a mint of money to do that. Yeah. If you that's... want all the rail that borders, like the, the, the lowest price for rail right now is 400 bucks. Really? For singles? Yes. Holy. Geez. Good luck. You're like, oh, you want a yeah. kilometer for 500 bucks? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But this is the thing. Like, I, the, when, when I started laughing at that, I had done some basic research on D- 
Decentraland, right? And so, right, right. And again, like we're not Decentraland; they're way ahead of us in dev, like that, you know, whatever, right? But we've also got. It feels like we've got some 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 stuff that they don't have, right? Like you can't do your own stuff there. It's like they've got like you can add like a lampshade or something if you buy it with mana or whatever, you know. Like you can do that stuff on your own if you want to, but you can't like come into game. It doesn't come with resources that you can then turn into other stuff if you if you want to put in that time and that work. I think it's really interesting, right? Um, but yeah, so you know it's interesting, and and you know down the road when we figure out what the pricing structure is going to be for, for, uh, for splitting these things, right? Like just imagine how much, um, you know, revenue is going to come in from one of the square kilometers that's been surveyed out. Right. Like do the math on that. Yeah. And then, you know, ask yourself what, like maybe you could get more if you do that again, like thinking in terms of like, you might have to spend 50 wax on creating a new region. Right. Because that cost is not going to be like a penny. It's going right. to be, you know, Katie's time to to, to do that in, in, in an organized way. And it's going to be double Katie's time because we're putting 50% in the rewards pool, right? So like that, right. there's, that's the, the, that cost that's going to, you know, exist with that. But still, it won't be, you know, a hundred bucks for one region, right? It won't be, you know, who knows, right? And again, like you won't be able to designate a rail because that those are, those are going to be limited, but... Yeah, who knows, man? I don't, I don't, I don't know. I just know it's going to be fucked up. It's pretty crazy, pretty crazy. Uh, and I like looking at this on the old map because you can see, like, when the whole, when the whole rethink of how the the lands were going oh, hey, out. Thank you, Brad. I was, I was off on the rail. Oh, there you go. Okay. Either way, it's still wow. the same order as magnitude, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I was just going to say though, we had, we had a, a whole plan for, it, for you know, what we we're going to do along this rail that came in on our eastern border. And all that went right out the window. So the whole idea of a transport hub only happened since the rethink of what was going to happen with the with the maps. Like we 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 did not have a head start on that. We didn't find out about the, about that till everybody else did. Uh, but I think we're I think we're in a good position now to make this a really desirable place for one to come uh, want to come be and and you know it's going to become a DAO eventually where you have some say in what happens, what the rules are, uh, and what can get sold into whom uh, like. A neighborhood homeowners association but not nazis uh so so that's <laughs> that's pretty rare yeah like there's uh there's an hoa oh uh, no uh, you might have to let the riffraff in no uh, nazis. so yeah but no nazis not that not that kind of riff that's, so that's, I, yeah you gotta have a line i think that's a good I, line that's a Just pretty good line you know that, you know the good line yes um i don't i don't care if they're misunderstood uh nope they're not <laughs> They're not. I understand completely. <laughs> yeah, that's not a thing. Uh, all right. So, so yeah, that's all I wanted to do. I wanted to spend some time to make sure people know it is an auction. Uh, you'll be able to select which specific. Wow. Yes. Okay. Yeah, right. Which uh, particular land you uh, land chunk or rail chunk you'd like to bid on? Uh, I don't know about map functionality yet. I think there's some issues with that. We're, but yeah, we're working on that. What, what I would recommend at, for at worst, you what you'll have to do is click on a, on a, a, a plot. Yeah. Write down that number right there. Just copy it, search it on Atomic Hub, it'll come right up. Right. And it'll show you what the bids are for that. Uh, yeah. That it'll take you there. right to the asset page. That's that's the safest bet. We're working on a cool ass map. It might not be done in time. So it'll just be a matter of, again, using this 2D map. Everyone has access to this. Uh, and then, uh, you know, copy the, the what we call a region name, which is the name for that little square. And then right. search that on Atomic Hub and it'll come right up. Beautiful. Um, yeah. Now, we're, we're, we're two weeks away yet, right? You said. I know we we've been saying by the fifteenth, but I'm I'm sensing that it may be a little. Well, later no, than that. my our window for it was the sometime between the tenth and the fifteenth. I think like pushing towards the end of that would be the okay. safest. Okay. Um, and and you'll know like when when we when we because we're tasking the CK seven with actually creating uh the auctions for each one. It's going to be a bit of a grind, right? So we'll be creating the auctions for each one of those things when that work starts. Then we'll know everything's minted. Yeah, yeah. And we're going to have a timeline that like we'll be able to give like a two three day. Uh, warning in advance, I would I would think, um, and then you know, of course the auctions are going to last uh, for three days as well. So, okay. Um, hey Dominic, all sales or auctions? No, the first one that we did was actually kind of like a pack sale, uh, random land, random uh, random rail, with uh, some of the ads being uh, uh, like the the Genesis NFTs to feed the reward pool. One of the perks was you got pros. We're not doing that with this one. We're just going to do all auctions, um, which was my original idea for for how 
we should do this. Um, and we're going to see how much, you know, which one works better. So all future sales that they be auctioned, we, we don't know. This one for sure is going to be an auction. All the sales in the in the chicken car auction, rail and land are going to be auctions. That's right. Those, yep. Each each piece is going to be auctioned off independently. Yep. Mm. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. And then, yeah, we'll see. We're not committing to <laughs> one way or another down the road because who knows? Yeah, I was just making a hmm. 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 You know, there's four people in uh, Jen's mural in the blue room now. Four NPCs. No, really? Yeah, they're just hanging out. Houses on the wealth. Nice. Yeah, yeah, they're just hanging out. That is cool. It's so much fun. But that still I land boosters I, apply. Uh, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I was thinking probes. So the 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 there is. Hmm. I want to describe if this properly. You own the chicken car Genesis NFTs. Yep. You will get bonus land if you if you also hold chicken car rail nfts that's correct right yeah so when that's that that was that was perfectly parsed so when we do the snapshot and we will announce when this is going to happen in advance uh for the the free land in london for the the chicken cod genesis nfts that are being sold right now um for every genesis nft chicken cod genesis nft that you have times uh uh uh, three rail that you have in chicken cod and yes it's specific um, you'll get one free land in in London. Now, again, the level two you get two each, and the 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 level three you get four each. But that 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 combination, you need three rail uh, in chicken ka, you know, per uh, um, you know the uh, uh, Genesis NFTs for chicken ka that you have. Beautiful. Mm-hmm. All right, man. Anyway, we've got articles coming out. Yeah, we've got articles coming out with all these details. So it's it's it's. Uh, um we realize that you know because there's a lot of new people that keep showing up all the time which is kind of incredible and awesome and amazing um so uh uh yeah uh there's there's going to be articles about all the past stuff that's gone on and about all the new stuff and about where we're headed uh no there will no there will there will not be any rail pack auctions because each one of them are going to be uh um auctioned off independently each one of them is going to be its own individually uh, set. yep yeah yeah beautiful mm-hmm. All right, uh, yeah, and I just put uh, I just put the two D map link in there. If you want to go look at this map, you can. Uh, on, uh, I'll show you that on the right edge. If you hover over the right edge of the map, you see the little pop out. This is the old world, uh, which is just called world. If you're t- t- uh, teleporting around, <laughs> uh, gratitude is the survival community cluster, and Londum is uh, Corey's uh, survival gift world, and then Genesis is the original community cluster. So. Uh, that's how you can tell where you can go to each of the different maps uh, from that little pop out. In fact, uh, let's look at the gratitude map because I just I love what's starting to happen here. People are people are beginning to populate this, Corey. No, <laughs> no, yeah, no, I, I am oh. aware. <laughs> and also, like, we're we're uh, Cowie, Cowie Moda, and I are why does he own my land? Wait a minute, why does he own the chicken car embassy? What's going on there? I what is that? Who is that? That's uh, Cali. It says, mem- oh, uh, "Oh, member." I thought it said owner. Never mind. I freaked out Dial for a second. Down, Jesus Christ. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I we should make you the owner though, to just to make sure that is squared away. Yep. You know uh, you yeah, can we- do that still, right? I know. Yeah, we got some stuff going on in here now, man. We're starting to starting to build a big platform, which is where the where the my baby loves me. She sends me lunch and stuff. Nice. I want to buy this plot right there because that, Corey, that down there mm-hmm. is an underwater guardian temple. And Dude, you, know, you know it's yours, right? Like for the embassy? Is it? I thought we just had the 250. No. Oh, you get all hell. the 50s around. Hell yeah. Because guess what you can make with this with the guardians? You can make a sea lanterns? A guardian farm and you can uh, make sea lanterns. Oh well, you got a buyer. And I haven't found another one of those anywhere no. on this map. So the buyer is me. Yeah. So I didn't realize right. that I thought I thought we couldn't use I, I I've been assiduously not using all that stuff around the the border. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Those are sheep and stuff over there. I could have had beds by now. Yeah, no, I mean, how many times? Like a pot is a pot of a pot. I don't know. You know, like I know, I know, like we sort of set that up as, uh, you know, we're, you know, we think there's, we're setting embassies up on different maps or whatever, like that, you know, tying those communities together. I just thought it was going to be a really cool idea. I mean, I, I know, I'm, I'm really confident, in fact, that it's going to be a really cool idea. But yeah, like that pod's a pod. So that in the same way that we grant them Same, on. Else, 
it's uh, it's granted to. I, and I haven't used my op command powers to to cheat that either. <laughs> Everything like I no, could have gone over there and pulled a bunch of sheep and stuff off the island, but I didn't do it. I didn't think it was ours. All right, all right. Well, thank all right. For that. Hey, thank you for taking time to 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 do this with me, Corey. Appreciate it. You're welcome. That's what and, I meant to say. Uh, I was just yeah. nodding like a weirdo. I'm going to go do other stuff. I'm going to build more Crown Landia stuff today. Okay, now that cool. we get that move done, that's going to come along pretty quickly, I think. All right. So thank you, everybody, for your questions. Thank you, everybody, for paying attention. Uh, please uh, buy something in our land sale because, uh, you know, and here's the thing. We're going to make a little bit from this, but what we really want is we want our, our server populated. We want people in and building stuff, and we want to ride by on the rails and go, what the hell is that? Just like everybody else in all the other worlds. Uh, so we, we want your creativity and, and your, your best uh, in our Minecraft world. Uh, so come join us. Awesome. Do we have, a, we don't have a closing. We don't let's do an, uh, well, I, I mean, I guess we could do the uh, chicken car because. Chicken uh, car. Wow. Chicken car! There you go. Sorry, 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 right. sorry. All right. Love you guys. See you later. Ciao. And.